Hello Photoshop Senior Edition folks. Today we're going to work on turning this into a pencil sketch and this will work on tons of images but I thought this was kind of a neat one that would uh, look good sketched anyway. So the first thing we're going to do is create a copy of our background layer. So Control J or Command J on a Macintosh. Then we're going to basically get rid of the color uh, we're going to go up to use saturation up here or down here to the little yin yang circle and click on it and go to use saturation and if you don't have uh, those adjustment layers open at all go up here and click on adjustments and that'll bring these up so right here is the use saturation and I'm going to take the saturation all the way to minus 100 so it basically turned it into a grayscale image and I'm just going to close that I'm going to come back down uh, to the copy and I'm going to go to the blend mode right here by opacity it says normal currently so we want to change that to color dodge and you see the what takes place then so even more drastically we're going to invert this so <clears throat> to invert what you see now we just hold down control or command and press the letter I as in India to invert it it turns completely white usually uh, and that's a good thing that's what it's supposed to do and if you look over here in the layers palette you'll see a very different uh, look in that little window I changed the panel options so you could see a bigger thumbnail that was the image totally inversed made opposite otherwise so now we need to bring it back and to do that we use filter go down to blur Gaussian blur and notice almost immediately of course I already had it turned up quite a ways you you move the Gaussian blur slider as far as it takes to look like a sketch don't take it too far in your images that it begins to look like something else so you kinda eyeball it and uh, you can make it larger while this window is still open I'm holding down my control key or command key on the Mac the space bar and I'm got my mouse and I'm left clicking to bring it in and now I'm holding just the space bar so I can move it around and then I can see the details as I change them now this looks a little more photographic so we'll just go back to there and we'll say that's fine now what I'm going to do uh, next is I want to build this up more so I'm going to click on the um, levels adjustment here and I want to bump the blacks way up so I just start dragging that in now, obviously you can go too far but you need to fill in those gaps let's go control zero so we can see the entire image and if you need to you can also mid move the midtones down and you see some of the clouds coming out with a sketchy look or you can bring that back up and kind of eliminate the clouds that's totally your call but there you have it uh, and if you do have any areas that come up in here that you want to get rid of uh, you can paint with white and just choose a regular brush put your brush on a hundred percent and you just paint those things away and we actually need to be on another layer so we can just get rid of that for now and we can put a layer just above this and then we can paint whatever we want back out I don't see anything maybe this right here can go away and there are little cloud artifacts there like I say if you like that you can leave them in and uh, 
use that too. Control zero to fill the screen. Uh, they have a really nice look and feel to them. Uh, you can certainly do this with uh, photographs of people as well. So experiment with that and see what you can come up with in the world of pencil sketching look. Just for kicks, I decided I would also run through this one real quick and turn it into a sketch. So I'm going to make a copy, Control J. I'm going to go up here and click on Use Saturation. And kill the color. Make sure that's all, all the way over to minus 100 or you will have trouble. Go down here to Layer 1. Change this Blend Mode to Color Dodge. Now I invert Layer 1 with Control or Command I as in India. Go to Filter. Blur. Gaussian Blur. Now again, the trick is to not go too far. You don't want all this gray stuff coming in like that. You can see in the mask, or in the preview, uh, all the gray, almost a gradient. So we have to find the point that gives us detail, a little detail, but not, a, not the gray stuff like this. So let's try around a 14. That doesn't look bad. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now I'm going to click on a Levels Adjustment and run this up and a lot more like a sketch isn't it now once you have that you say well I'd really like to take this to an another level so go to the top of all of the layers and what we're going to do is take a snapshot of everything that's there all four of these layers into one snapshot and that way at one time we can make a, a very dramatic change in everything. So to do this, to combine all of these into one layer and still have these layers here, we hold down the control key, the alt, the shift, and press E. That'd be command option shift E on a Mac. That creates this. If I turn all of these off we still have the uh, the whole image. So what I'm going to do now is add another uh, levels adjustment and now we can really crank the blacks and whites however we want. How about that? So we have uh, a way to modify and, and basically magnify the effect by taking that shot of all of the layers. Remember that's Control alt shift e is an echo and you can take that snapshot of all of the layers and then build off of that as well. Alright, that's it. Bye for now.